dropped We're now watching this replay. Yeah, yeah. And I got it on me. Dante says Sheila's ready for a trade-in. What are you hoping to find in another woman? A better booty. But her blind date liked her front end. Her chest that dude. Fucking spoiler. Thank you very much. I'm Chris Jagger. Welcome to Change of Heart. And let's meet our couple. Now, she was hauling her furniture into her dorm when he decided to give this sexy co-ed a hand with a move. When he was at the gym a few days later, one of her friends gave him her number. Well, he dialed her digits, and for the past nine months now, he's been ringing her phone off the hook. Let's give it up for Dante Kidd and Sheila Spades. Welcome. Good to see you. All right, Sheila, let me start with you and ask you, like, when you want to go out with your friends, just kick it. How, how does Dante react? He gives me a curfew. Oh, he curfew. tells me. Chad, I don't know about this episode. I don't like her teeth. Her teeth is pissing me off, bro. I need a girl with better teeth. I need a girl with better teeth. They got no heat. All right, man, turn it. Welcome to Change of Heart. Let's meet our couple. Now, they met eight months ago at a dance club. When he approached her, she was all bark and bite. But oh. it wasn't long before his puppy dog eyes turned her into a pussycat. And they've been playing fetch the bone ever since. <laughs> for Ryan Mack and Nikki Cross. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Love Nikki, you. let me start with you. Tell me why Ryan's in the doghouse. Oh my gosh, Chris, he's like so jealous. When we go out, he always puts me on this leash. He grabs me by the oh. back of my neck. He just guides me. I yes, grab her by do. the arm because she's No, you don't. You flirt. grab her by the neck. You put me in your little leash and you just drag me through the mall. <laughs> Give me that <laughs> neck. He oh, grab her by the flirting neck. Flirting with every guy just no, got no. skipping. That's what I do. I grab her by the neck. Grab her by your no, arm. No, you Flirtatious looks. No. She's flirting with every guy. She's no, got skimpy no. clothes. No, I you don't have skimpy clothes. I dress like a red. Now, girl. Ryan, here's the important question, though. Even though she may flirt with other guys, do you think she appreciates you? She doesn't appreciate me at all. I tell her. Oh. Gold doesn't fall from the sky every day. You're not gold, honey. Trust me. You're, you're not gold. No, no, gold. no, no, you're not. Trust me. You are well, not he gold. He is. He says she be wearing sleazy clothes. She be throwing. She be doing inappropriate stuff. She got a tongue ring. I can see she a little freaky body. And when you try to do nice things for him, is he thankful? No, I suggested that we go on a picnic and picnics are for sissies. No, they're not. They're oh, romantic. They are romantic. Man, you are, yeah, you're romance, just not a romantic, dude. Romance, person. candlelight dinners, romance. Oh my god, you don't even like candles. All right, so Nikki, candles. he doesn't like picnics. Obviously, does he take you out to eat? At least take you to dinner. Oh my gosh. He told me get dressed so he could take me to this nice restaurant. Uh huh. We drive up and he's like, oh, we're going to Sizzlers. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and then he tells me, hey, $20 is our limit, okay? And wow, I'm like, big spender. Like, he is a light skinned, like, okay, cold hearted. Okay. So he is. Like, That's hey, exactly you, okay? what he like, is. Okay, be sweet. Go ahead, order for me. He orders me this big old bulky hamburger with a glass of water. Oh. <laughs> She's on a diet. She's on a diet. I was not on a diet. I was not on no diet. All right, Nikki, let me ask you this. He likes a little sizzle for dinner, so how about sizzle in the bedroom? No, Ryan is very old fashioned. He, I suggest to tie him up and try and candle wax. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just This ain't cowboys. This ain't cowboys. No, you just want to get in and get out. He no. didn't, uh, he would have had no part of that, I guess. He's not no. very experimental. No. I don't believe in being burned. If I wanted to be burned, I would have joined the frat. All right, Ryan. What? what? It doesn't hurt. It Ryan, doesn't hurt. Communication. Everybody it. agree, communication is very important in a relationship. How are you guys in that department? It's terrible. I mean, it's like talking to a brick wall. If I wanted to oh. talk to a brick wall, I asked Humpty Dumpty to come over. Oh, my gosh. Where well, you sit there and you talk about your Reese hair. Reese underscore, and underscore, underscore, got oh, underscore, no, man. underscore game just subscribed. Yo, Reese, I was here for four months. Thank me, Baldy. Why is your name Reese ain't got no game? You dedicated a Twitch account to calling me with no game. That don't even make no fucking sense when that's not even true, bro. But, Nikki, one more question before we go to break. Why come on the show and go on these dates? Well, me and Brian, me and Ryan been together for a while, and we're so used to each other. I don't want either one of us to feel like we're just selling and there might be someone else out there. Test the water. Test the water and make sure Test you're not taking each other for granted. All right, good enough. <laughs> now, coming up next, it's a little scandal that involves a dripping candle. Oh. So stay tuned. Oh. Only Nikki, game Reese now, good says at Ryan is beating treats her up. like a dog. Actually, that he puts her on a leash and feeds her hamburger and water. And in the bedroom, well, he just puts her to sleep. Oh. Whoa! So we set her up with a stud boy who says he treats his women like fine Siamese pussycats. Whoa. And 
this dude in bed? Well, let's just say he knows how to make them purr. Please welcome Will Fry. Oh, wow, boy, chill out. Sit your hype ass down. Oh, get this guy. Ryan, if you're gold, what would you call Will? Copper. <laughs> All right, Nikki, what about you? When Will popped up at the door, what'd you think? I was like, oh my gosh, I wanted to kick my brother out of the house and just ravish him. <laughs> Whoa, you girl talking like that! And what about you, Will? Equally impressed? Yes, I was. Great body, nice legs, and damn nice booty. And Will, how about her fashion sense? How was she dressed? Very nice. I think she had one of the shortest skirts on that's legal to wear. Uh -huh. Very nice, well you guys were out together. Did she happen to talk about Ryan? Tell you anything about him? Yeah, it sounds like this guy's got some major problems, man. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, like pretty jealous control freak, if you ask me. So I'm you got to jealous. hear a little about that. So did it bother you? Did you think oh, the guy might come after me? Or uh, it worried like me at first because when we were leaving her apartment, uh, her little brother said she was gonna call him and tell him where we were at. No. So now that I see him, I ain't too yeah. worried. <laughs> oh, you think you can throw them hands? But now that I see him, I ain't too yeah. worried. <laughs> okay, no problem there. You Nikki, got, why your little brother gonna stir it up? Now, Nikki, what about while you're back at the restaurant, you're at the Mexican restaurant, that he happened to show you his chimichanga? No. <laughs> Wait, he shows you what? So he's walking off and he stopped and he did like one of these little turns and lifted up his shirt and he like kind of wiggled his butt at oh, him. Yeah? And you know, so I'm like wow, hanging over like Austin drilling because you know he had like a really nice butt, so you know. <laughs> Ryan's butt is you like Ryan's butt? Mm, Ryan has a little duck butt. A, <laughs> a duck butt. I fly. It works. It's well enough. Okay. Oh, I, I duck like butt. Well, well, you're in the middle of a restaurant. What makes you decide you decide to uh, need to show off your assets? Well, she had just <laughs> she just got done telling me that she's a nymphomaniac. And she couldn't find her. Of course. She couldn't find a man to fulfill her needs, so I thought uh, I'd well give her a little fulfilled. preview. Well <laughs> Whoa. Crazy. Uh, over dinner, was he whispering sweet nothings to you, or? Yeah, he noticed that my tongue was pierced, so he told me he that I can do whatever I want to do to him. <laughs> what about dessert? Did you stay at the restaurant for that? I know we went back to her room for that. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. What you mean? And Nikki, what was going on back at the room? Um, I just pushed him down in the bed, you know. Rip <laughs> what the fuck? Nikki, what was going on back at the room? Um, I just pushed him down in the bed, you know, ripped open his shirt, and I just yeah. like kind of straddled over him and dripped a little candle wax over his chest. There's and Will, what was that experience like for you? That was new, but you know, it burned at first, but then once going it got front. hard, she licked it going and it cooled it off, felt real nice. She licked it. You know, it burned at first, but then once going it got front. hard, she licked it going and it cooled it off, felt real nice. <laughs> What's that, Rob? Go on a flat party if you want to get burned. You want to get burned? She licking this man on the fr- she, what? Bro, what kind of girls be on these shows? That man thing. All right, let me go back to Nikki here. Here he is, he's got his shirt open, you're doing the wax thing. How is his body? Oh, he had a very nice chest. Ryan, he has like a little bird chest. Ah. So Nikki, let me come back to the date for a second here. Uh, Will said you could do whatever you want with your tongue. Where else did it go? Well, you know, I like up his neck and we started kissing, rolling around on the bed. What are we, y'all, she kissing on his neck, she kissing him in the mouth, rolling around on the bed with him, you still sitting here acting like this your girl? You acting like that's your girl, bro? That's your girlfriend? Y'all in an open relationship that you knew about? You knew about this? Ed making out, you know. <laughs> All right, so, but Nikki, overall, how was your date? It was real great. It was like the best date I had in a long time. Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, up next, what did Ryan's date's mother catch him doing? We're going to find out when we come back, so stay tuned. That girl is a thot. So now let's meet the woman that we sent to woo Ryan. Yeah, let's Ryan see what says she got Nikki doesn't do realize what a bounty of gold he is, and when it comes to absorbing that what he says. That don't look nothing like me. It's kind of weird that it do. Well, That's she's the a bounty paper part. towel. We'll give her like that. You. So please welcome Kira Epps. Whoa! Does Kira look like a quicker picker-upper? No, she looks like she'll pick up anything with a heartbeat. <laughs> I got my hair done last night. Where were you? Oh. Whoa! -ho 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 -ho! That's okay, I got jokes 
<laughs> Kara, let me start with you. When Ryan showed up as your date, <laughs> when Ryan showed up as your date, were you happy? Well, I was relieved. I had heard that sometimes he dyes his hair blonde. What? So I was picturing tech from the real world. Oh, all people. <laughs> all people. He was dressed very nice. He was cute. All right, and Ryan, vice versa, were you appreciative of what she had to offer? Yeah, she had um, legs, nice smile. Well, well taken care of. So you were good. All right, so that part, that was good. Now, Kira, I understand your mom somehow found him expressing how happy he was. What's that all about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what that mean? I guess he didn't know anybody was watching, but I went upstairs to go get my jacket, and my mom peeked around the corner and saw him going, yes! Oh, okay. <laughs> sure what he was doing there, but Carrie, was he doing anything that made you go, yes, yes? Well, I mean, he was gaining brownie points, brownie points with me all night long. He opened the doors for me wherever Lovely. we went. He gave me roses. He was very, very simple. Well, he was being quite the gentleman oh, the whole yeah. night through. Oh, yeah. Very nice. And Nikki, is he this way with you? Is he no, that sweet? Always opening the door for him. He has never, oh. he has never bought me flowers. Goofy he like picked flowers like off of the garden that were on my apartment complex. He has now. never yeah. bought me flowers. Bring you weeds or something. Not Mr. Yeah, so Kira, well. let's talk about the date. I understand you guys went off to dinner. Any problems getting to dinner? Well, he's not familiar with the area where we were going, so he just thought he could take control while driving, but I just had to stop him and say, look, let me show you where to go. Nikki, does that sound familiar, his, his ways? Yeah, but Ryan, he cannot admit when he's wrong, he's always right. When we came out here for our interview, he got us lost and he blamed it on me. Oh, Only you're fine. We got lost. We got a map from the internet from probably oh some six-year-old that she picked anyway, up that we the took one, directions to get here. Give it to me, give it to me. You can't read it, you can't read it. Let me read it, give it to me. You can't read it. <laughs> so far off, it wasn't even funny. Now, right, are they too bossy, these women that you go out with, or what? Man, they are. Just get some here like this They don't know that I know what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. They don't realize you're the man. They're not realizing. They All right, know. Ryan, what about you and Kira Dinner? Anything impressive that you learned, that you found out? Man, she's... She, um, <laughs> she had goals. She had a lot of ambition. Mm. Um, she's going on to law school in the fall, and right. she's on. Um, nice. That's a good Nikki? woman right there. Ambitions? If, if you consider nails and hair every other Friday and some shopping, and then, I mean, well, should be suicidal. I have suicidal. goals, I have goals. I told you I was gonna go back to school this spring so I could start studying to be a teacher. You know well, what I wanna do. All right, Kara, let yeah. me go back to the date. Okay. Kara, did, did he put a limit on what you could order at dinner? Is that is that the case? No, I could order anything I wanted. You didn't have any restrictions? <laughs> Not like but, Nikki when she goes out with him. I don't know. <laughs> Now, Ryan, about, what about afterwards? You guys went salsa dancing, I understand. Yes. Yeah. And but, would you ever do but, anything like that with Nick? They date is so basic and boring, I can't even latch on to these two. At least she a respectable woman that respect herself. She not doing inappropriate things with a man she just met. Unlike his girlfriend, who was rolling around on a fucking bed with the tongue ring, licking his neck, kissing him, putting hot oil you on. Like, goddamn, man. Nikki? Wait, She's not no, a salsa wait, type wait, dance. Wait, she, no, no, she no. likes you salsa dancing. When you go salsa dancing, you know I want to go salsa dancing. I these lame ass girls, man. Can't take these little hoochie mamas nowhere. Always embarrassing you. Can't respect your relationship. Get away from her. Wait, what about you, Ryan? Did you have to put her on a leash like you do with Nikki when you're out? Man, she was all eyes on me the whole time. We had eyes on her. Um, great time. She made me feel like the Monopoly guy with the tuxedo. I was going to Lil boardwalk. 202 I... just subscribed. Why would you give him that, huh? You think you Santa Claus? Stop. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, Ryan, while we're on the jealousy topic, does Nikki ever get jealous or is it just you? She's jealous about everything. Shows, movies, uh, the Dorito girl, she does the splits. Yeah. She's jealous of that. Oh, my God. <laughs> You know, what's so great about a woman that could flip, do the splits, and catch a dang chip? Nah, she's catching the chip. Oh, my God. I could do the splits on me a chip. I could do the Can splits and catch, catch the one. chip like Don't that? do no splits oh, on sure this show. Did. And say I-T-Y like uh, all right, all right. Oh, well, Hang on a second. We'll get you audition for that later. <laughs> Why is she rubbing on this man's leg so damn hard? That's not even your man. Look at this fucking lady, bro. Uh, what about during the date? Was Ryan ever bringing up Nikki at all? No, it was all about me. He didn't want to talk about her. We don't need to talk about her hoochie hey, ass. about the ending of the day? Did it end happily ever after? Yeah, it was real nice. He walked me to my door, gave me a sweet kiss goodnight, and we said goodbye. Uh, it was a good day. Was that, was that a kiss so things on the were cheek very nice. Or? What was that, Nikki? Was, was that a kiss on the cheek or? It was a kiss. 
Why is she worrying about where she kissing him after she was sucking on that man neck, licking oil off his chest, making out with him rolling around on his bed? Look at his... I'm about to call her out her name. You know what? I'm going to do it. Look at his dirty bitch. I'm sick of her, bro. This show is fucking goofy, man. Get me to the next part, bro. Sure. He better, he place, better get rid of her. Become a bad habit. He better get so rid of we're her. We're gonna get your decisions first, Nikki. We're gonna start with you. You've, uh, you know, you've you might as well change your heart. You already licking this fucker. Had some troubles with your relationship. Oh, Ryan's lacking everything I want in a man. That is so disrespectful. He's lacking everything in a man. He's he literally not even a man. And I had a really good time with Will, but. I really care about Ryan, so I'm gonna. She's going to cheat on him. How you gonna talk so little about your spouse and try to stick beside him? She is going to cheat with this big fuck here. Stay together. You gonna give it a shot? You say stay together? Look at his dumbass smiling. I'm so happy I got me a whore. <laughs> Look at me. I got a fucking hoe. This bitch was out here kissing this man. You ain't mad at that. She was licking all up on his neck. You don't care. Hey, Will, sorry things didn't work out for you. Hope you had a good time anyway. He definitely did have a good time. Ryan, we got to get your decision now. Nikki says she wants to stay. We sent you out with Kira. You guys had a really nice date. Hey, really? Salsa dancing, some hip thrusting, and... Uh... Well, um, these two are a work of art, I must say. <laughs> First of all. But, um... You know, in our relationship that we're in right now, it's like staggering, and I can't take that step forward. So, um, I have to have it. Yes! Ooh. Kira, does that work for you? Kira says, uh, that is our show for today. Thanks to Nikki and Will. Good and look, good luck to man. Kira and Ryan. We'll see you next time on Change of Heart. At least, at least he went out cool, man. At least he found a nice, wholesome woman. They ain't do nothing much on the first date. She ain't try to make him do anything. That's very respectable, man. I can't be mad at that. I can't even be mad at that, bruh. That is so chill. God damn. People be out here acting like whores. I thought I told you I got that on my body.